Spinal muscular atrophy is a neuromuscular disease that causes the nerve cells that control your muscles to die. Niels Geijsen and his group turn patient skin cells into stem cells. And from these stem cells they can grow nerve cells in the lab. They use these man-made nerve cells to find the cause of this disease. Patients with SMA are often already very weak when they're born and later become paralyzed and uh, develop difficulty breathing. Uh, about 75% of the patients die before the age of three. Now this disease isn't very well known simply because the patients die at such a young age, but yet one in 10,000 children that are born suffer from this disease and there is no effective cure. We want to know why these nerve cells in SMA patients are dying. We know that the disease is caused by uh, the lack of spinal motor neuron 1, a gene that is essential for nerve cell function. Now humans are unique in that we are the only species that have a second spinal motor neuron gene that can in principle rescue the d disease. So we need to study human uh, neurons in order to learn more about the disease and how to perhaps fix it. But the problem is that also this gene is not very effective in the nerve cells. There's one way to make them in the lab ourselves from embryonic stem cells. But this doesn't work in our application because em embryonic stem cells don't have this missing gene. Novel stem cell technologies now allow us to make these stem cells in the lab from patient skin cells. So what we do is we can make stem cells out of simple patient skin cells in a process called uh, reprogramming. Basically what we do is we make the skin cells forget that they are skin cells and make them or change them back into cells that are very much like these embryonic stem cells. And these cells can then become any cell type we want. In our SMA research we turn these stem cells into motor neurons and we want to find out two different things. One is uh, why this gene defect in these nerve cells causes the nerve cells to die. And the other thing is that humans are unique in that we have this second gene and we like to figure out ways to make this second gene more effective because that could in fact be a treatment for this disease. Um, so to test uh, whether the motor neurons that we make from patient stem cells also differ functionally from healthy stem cells, uh, we inject these into the developing chick, uh, the embryo, and then allow it to develop further to see if they manage to connect with one another and interact with muscle tissue. I hope that in two or three years from now we have found out why these nerve cells in SMA patients are dying and that we've also set up uh, assays in the lab that allow us to mimic the disease because with that we can work together with the pharmaceutical industry to effectively develop new therapies to treat this disease.